Well, thank you for watching this video. In this video, I'm going to talk about uh, how to set up and use vendors and uh, contractors in QuickBooks Online. So let's get started. I'm going to go to QuickBooks Online and uh, go over uh, uh, how to set up uh, and use the vendors and uh, uh, contractors. Okay, so I'm on uh, QuickBooks Online. Uh, your dashboard could could look different, but this is my uh, demo uh, file. So this is your left uh, navigation bar um, on, under expenses. You will see vendors. Okay, so the click vendors, and basically you just set up click new vendor and set up the vendor. You know and uh, whatever information you can provide uh you know uh that that would be better especially if you need to print uh, checks or uh make payment to your vendor okay and then you add your address and if you have some sort of uh, vendor information then you can attach it here and ACS payment, you know, so if you have certain uh, vendors that you uh, need to make some payment, not going through your bank account, uh, you can set it up here. Uh, I'll go over this a little bit more, uh, a little bit later on. And uh, so basically the bank account number and the routing number, this is part of the QuickBooks bill pay feature. And uh, then, if you are paying uh, contractors or uh, all your vendors, you know, then you can uh, uh, get the business ID number. Just make sure that your vendor information is uh, is up to date and accurate. And then if you're tracking the payments for 1099, this is the one for your contractor. So you're, at the your end, you send out the uh, the income uh, information. And then basically, if you figure out, you know, whatever you need, the terms is you're going to pay right away or you're going to set up a uh, net 30 or, you know, you can change this later on, no big deal, you know. And account number, is, that's the one you basically, you can walk the way to assign account number. And then the default is this, you know, uh, you have certain you know, vendor, uh, which account do you prefer, you know. So you can just leave this one blank or, you know, if you buy uh, certain uh, computer expenses, you can just select, you know, uh, that account, you know. So that's about it. And this one is basically if you're trans opening balances, basically if you are transferring the QuickBooks from uh, uh, other accounting uh, uh, system, you know, then you, you owe some um, uh, vendor's money, then that's where it goes. Okay, if you are starting a new, then there's no opening balance, it's zero. So that's about it. And then you can fill out all these stuff to do that pretty self explanatory, you know. Uh, so basically. So now I'm going to go to uh, this ACS payment feature. So uh, this asks for basically account number and routing number. And so you just go to the bills here from here expenses and bills and in here to give you some information in here so basically they're just trying to sell this uh, service to you so just uh, click to find out more so underneath you will see if you just write few checks you uh, make two vendor payments you know like in this case you get five free ACS payments per month, you know, like if you just pay, uh, you, you know, you, you want to make payment to your landlord or pay phone bills or you have, you have certain uh, one or two contractors and you can use this feature for free, which is a pretty good deal, you know, you know, or you can just go through your bank if it, if it is free. Uh, but this one is basically, you know, uh, you can, uh, you can create all the uh, setup from your directly from the QuickBooks, and then you have a premium and elite, you know, uh, forty-five dollars, and well, so it's basically fifteen dollars, fifteen dollars for premium and ninety dollars. That's kind of pretty expensive. Okay.
okay so that's the uh, focus of this we and the contractors the same thing you know you just create a contractor pay a quick contractor you go the same thing you know okay so that's the focus of this video uh thank you for watching this video bye